This is Billionaire Mondays. Every Monday, we present you with another billionaire. Today, we're looking at 15 things you didn't know about Evan Spiegel. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello, Aluxers. Today, we're talking about the mega successful entrepreneur, Evan Spiegel. Imagine you're one of the students in attendance back in 2011 when Evan Spiegel offered his idea for his ultimate project, a mobile application that would allow people to share pictures for a matter of seconds before vanishing forever. At the time, his schoolmates at Stanford University thought his idea was a big joke. Who would have thought this big joke would become Snapchat? Over the years, Snapchat has become one of the most popular social media applications. Literally, teenagers live and breathe on Snapchat, which is both buzzed and contentious. Investors love it, parents dislike it, and hackers have a lot of fun with it. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. With that said, let's take a closer look at the 15 things you didn't know about the co-founder of Snapchat, Evan Spiegel. Number one, Evan Spiegel had a special parking spot for his Cadillac Escalade in high school. When he was in high school at the Crossroads School for Arts and Sciences, Evan parked in a corporate gated lot close to his school. His father was a representative of the Edison Company and hooked him up with his own space in the lot. It's pretty understandable bearing in mind his first car was a brand new Cadillac Escalade. No one wanted to park close to some jerk who'll slash your tires or park too close and scratch your Cadillac when opening their door. It's tiresome to worry about such things, but this was his life at the age of 16. Based on the top-notch school he attended, it's possible there were multiple Escalades and expensive vehicles in that very same parking lot. Number 2. Evan Spiegel Didn't Graduate from Stanford Evan Spiegel did actually attend the graduation ceremony and even walked across the stage during the event held at Stanford back in June 2012. His family and relatives were present and were even busy taking pictures of their son dressed in a black gown. But little did they know that Evan was, and still is, short of attaining the credit hours required for him to graduate. The university trusted that he would find a way to complete them and allowed him to participate anyway. He has since expressed his regrets in being part of the graduation ceremony. At the time, he kept quiet because he didn't want to suffer the embarrassment in front of his family and friends. But he now joins the list of billionaires like Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates, and Steve Jobs who are university dropouts. Number 3. He lived with his father even after he was a millionaire just to save money. Even after Snapchat was successful, Evan continued living with his dad, saying that it's cheap. By the way, it's not like his father lived in a shack, okay? He lived a very privileged lifestyle and was contented with living at home while he built the Snapchat empire. At the age of 20, many young men want their space. They feel that their fathers are cramping their lifestyle. I guess this wasn't true for Evan Spiegel. It wasn't until November 2014 he was certain about moving out and living on his own. He moved into a gorgeous three-bedroom home in Brentwood that cost him a whopping $3.3 million dollars. Not too shabby for your first home. Number 4. He met the co-founders of Snapchat at a frat event. Just like many startups in the Silicon Valley area, Snapchat was developed by a bunch of university kids. Unlike many businesses, Evan didn't form the roots of his app in an electronic or math lab gathering, but at a party. Evan was a member of Stanford University's Kappa Sigma group, who loved to party. It was during one of these get-togethers that he formed what became Snapchat, together with his frat brothers Reggie Brown and Bobby Murphy, who made significant contributions towards the development of the app. Murphy is actively involved with the business, which Spiegel runs as CEO, and the brains behind the innovative ideas. Despite his contributions towards the photo deleting application, Brown was cut from the group without any stake in the company after a falling out with Evan. A rights dispute ensued, but founding partners would later on settle the matter out of court for a fee that was not made public. Number 5. 
his first idea flopped. Snapchat's success is phenomenal. The company has around 200 million users, but it wasn't always sunshine for Evan. Prior to launching Snapchat, the businessman launched Peekaboo, a photo distribution app that deleted pictures after 10 seconds of viewing by the receiver. Sound familiar? Probably not, because Peekaboo flopped hard and failed to gain popularity before being rebranded as Snapchat. The rest, as they say, is history. Number 6. Evan wrote a letter to his parents saying he deserved a $75,000 BMW. We know that Evan lived a life that we all desire from a young age. After receiving his Cadillac, Evan wanted something more fuel-efficient, a sporty car. During this time, he was living with his father as his parents had divorced. He wrote a letter to his parents requesting a $75,000 BMW. In the letter, Evan reiterated that he believed his hard work had earned him the car. Remember, he was still in high school. His father refused to buy him the car, so he moved out of his father's house and in with his mother, who bought him the BMW without any second thoughts. Kinda sounds like a spoiled brat. Number 7. He had a romantic relationship with Taylor Swift. You know what? You're the real deal when Taylor Swift notices you. Perhaps Evan was one of those bad guys she longed for. During the month of December 2013, while still at home with his father, Evan met Taylor Swift at a New Year's Eve get-together. They were together for a brief time, but just like many of Swift's relationships, they didn't last long. Rumor has it that Evan wasn't ready to give her the attention she desired, and she decided to end whatever they had going on. During this time, though, his first priority was Snapchat and nothing could separate him from his first love. But later on, he started dating model Miranda Kerr, so don't feel too sorry for him. Number 8. Evan is a private person Many wealthy people are quick to show their riches and talk about every thought that creeps through their minds. Evan is quite the opposite. He doesn't share his feelings often at all. He's adopted this approach in his business as well. Snapchat doesn't ask users too much personal information like other social media sites. He thinks the manner of trolling on Facebook to discover the types of ads you want to see is undesirable. Evan Spiegel doesn't even share with Snapchat employees about the new products and services they are to offer. That doesn't mean he's not happy to be pictured in the public, but he believes it's very crucial to be careful with what you share. Number 9. He turned down a $3 billion bid from Mark Zuckerberg. Facebook offered Evan $3 billion for Snapchat back in 2013, but he turned down the offer. This was a brave move considering how Facebook has managed to buy up small entities, but Evan saw how Snapchat had great potential and opportunities that were evident. What people don't realize is that Mark tried to arm twist Evan into accepting the offer by informing him about Facebook's intention to launch the same product within days and that he risked being irrelevant. To date, Evan is proud he didn't fall for Mark's trick. Now the race is to see which company will attract the most users. Number 10. He's ranked as the 931st richest man globally. At 26 years old, Evan Spiegel isn't hurting for money according to Forbes' all-time rich list. His net worth is estimated to be $2.9 billion, which gets him the rank of the 931st richest man in the world. He's also joined the globe's top 1,000. Not bad when you consider the nearly 7.5 billion people on the planet. Evan Spiegel's wealth ranks him at 418th in the United States, and he's the man with the 99th deepest wallet in the technology niche. He retained a 13% stake in Snapchat, a franchise worth around $16 billion, so he isn't ready to pinch pennies anytime soon. And Aluxers, if you want to learn some more about the richest people in the world, be sure to check out our video of the top 10 richest families in the world by clicking in the top right corner. Number 11. Working for him is not easy. Those who have worked for Evan at Snapchat have expressed how he's a very difficult person to work for based on different explanations. 
Most of the tech startups have meetings with all the staff members, where new products, ideas, and visions are shared. Snapchat has a totally different approach. Numerous buildings can be found along the Venice boardwalk, where Evan wants the teams separated to maintain discretion. Everything is secret, and employees learn of new company products and services in the media. Because of this approach, the company has a high turnover of the workforce, the top executives included. The lack of collaboration and segregation at Snapchat is difficult for many people, leading to the high turnover rate. Number 12. Leaked Communications Show an Unpleasant Side of Spiegel in CEO's emails, you'd expect to see insights about emerging trends in the market, consumer habits, strategic plans, and so on. You wouldn't expect to find jokes about drinking, stories about urinating on women or cocaine and marijuana-based brags, and homophobic and sexist remarks. Sadly, though, Evan has found himself on the wrong side of the fence in recent years. His unwarranted and unpleasant side was on full display when his emails were leaked. This damaged his reputation as an entrepreneur, public figure, and mentor. He was remorseful when he offered a public apology, stating he was a jerk at the time writing the emails. I guess he showed his true frat boy nature. Number 13. His standard t-shirts cost $50 a piece. To many people, Evan is a fashion guru. He's engaged to former Victoria's Secret model Miranda Kerr and has been featured on the cover of the Italian Vogue magazine. He met Kerr at a Louis Vuitton banquet and one thing led to another. Others argue he is the king of the minimalist look. His signature appearance includes a v-neck t-shirt designed by James Percy. He's had the look since his high school days, and it serves him well, so why change it? His shirt retails for around $50 a piece, but with his more elegant looks, it seems he borrowed a leaf from Steve Jobs' approach where less is more. Number 14. He sought the services of the Friends set director to redecorate his house. As the son of two successful lawyers, Evan became accustomed to a certain standard of living. Following his parents' separation, he opted to live with his dad, who handed over decorating duties to him with a sizable budget. So what would you do as a teenager? He hired the set director for the TV series Friends, a man named Greg Grand. He had Grand install a home movie theater in his new house and a floating bookshelf. Number 15. He purchased a car seat to prove to Miranda he was serious. You all know that Evan is mad about Miranda, right? But Miranda has a five-year-old son, meaning he has to love Miranda Kerr and her son with Orlando Bloom, Flynn. So, like any other billionaire might do, he bought a car seat. Shortly after he started dating Miranda in 2015, Evan Spiegel purchased his own car seat for her son. It definitely shows his dedication to their relationship. And Aluxers, there you have it. 15 things you didn't know about Evan Spiegel. Now that you've learned some more about the entrepreneur, we'd love to know. Would you have turned down a $3 billion offer if you were in Evan's shoes? Let us know what you think in the comments. And of course, as a thank you for making it all the way to the end, here's a bonus fact for sticking with us. Number 16. Evan Spiegel turned down a $30 billion offer from Google. Google was keen on purchasing Snapchat for $30 billion, but the CEO declined. It was rumored that Google's interest in Evan's company started sometime in 2016, and it's unclear how serious the negotiations actually were. According to reliable sources, including people who are close to the company, the talks happened before Snap's $1.8 billion Series F in the month of May that valued the franchise, still known as Snapchat then, at $20 billion. Google's Development Capital Fund, capital G, took part in the negotiations. Another source affirmed that consultations resumed before Snap's $3.4 billion IPO in March that valued the business at $24 billion. The offer is still alive, but remember, Evan turned down $3 billion from Mark Zuckerberg in 2013, followed by a $4 billion offer from Google thereafter. The franchise's present offer is 7.5 times greater than the initial one. 
Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy. Or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.